Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features a first look at the USS Rochester, which is currently in testing. The Rochester is an Oregon City class heavy cruiser with more advanced AA weaponry and a slightly different arrangement for her AA defenses as compared to her direct predecessors the Baltimore class ships. The USS Rochester was launched literally on the eve of the end of World War II on the 28th of August 1945 and the USS Rochester would go on to see extensive action during the Korean War. I always enjoy seeing real ships enter the game and the USS Rochester is no exception. Rochester has the unmistakable look of a US heavy cruiser and looks fantastic in my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think of this upcoming addition to World of Warships. So with that being said, let's take a look at the ship's stats and have an idea of what she is capable of. Let me remind you here, the USS Rochester is still a work in progress and is subject to change, but this is the current state now in testing. I will update this video when the Rochester is confirmed in her final state with a link to a complete review guide. So make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel below to easily keep up to date with the Rochester and all of the other new releases. Starting simply with the ship upgrades, main armaments, damage con, aiming systems, steering gears and concealment. All the ship stats that we're going to be covering are based on this build. I'll show you the captain skills in a moment. Firstly, damage control parity, five charges of defensive fire, three charges of nine kilometer radar, 27 second duration, three charges of hydroacoustic search, five kilometers for ships, 3.5 kilometers for torpedoes. So quite flexible combination of consumables, no repair parity. This is the build I'm currently testing. Increase the gears. I'm kind of boosting the consumables. Priority target. I'm boosting the AA, expert marksman. Adrenaline rush. Superintendent. Concealment. And AA gunner. Just currently testing out a strong AA setup. So let's take a look at the Rochester's armor. Using the port viewer, you can see 27 millimeters of lower and upper fore end plating. That extends here with the casemate armor and the deck all being 27 millimeters. And again here at the stern, lower and upper plating of 27 millimeters. Got a Citadel armor belt of 152 millimeters. We look here at the front. This is the barbette armor that stretches down 160 millimeters and 27 millimeters here. And at the stern, just 27 millimeters. Superstructure gets 16 millimeters and the gun turrets frontal plate of 203 millimeters. Two sections of side plating, 83 millimeters, 38. The top plating is 76 millimeters and the rear plating is 38 millimeters. Moving to the survivability, USS Rochester gets 41,900 hit points, a torpedo protection damage reduction of 13%. Moving to the artillery, 
USS Rochester gets three triple mounted 203 millimeter guns, two fore and one aft, with a reload time of 11.5 seconds, 180 degree turning time of 26 seconds, a max dispersion of 132 meters. The HE shells can inflict a max damage of 2800, can pen 34 millimeters of armor with a 14% fire chance and have a shell speed of 823 meters per second. The AP rounds, they can inflict a max damage of 5000 and have a slightly slower shell speed of 762 meters per second. And these nine 203 millimeter guns have a max firing range of 15.9 kilometers. Looking at the secondary armament, Rochester gets six twin mounted 127 millimeter guns. They have a six second reload, firing high explosive shells. They have a 5% fire chance, a max firing range of 6.9 kilometers, and they can penetrate 21 millimeters of armor. And they have a shell speed of 792 meters per second. Moving to the AA defense, Rochester gets 10 twin mounted 76.2 millimeter guns, and the six twin mounted secondary guns also double up as AA. They do a continuous average damage of 425, the vast majority of which is medium range with a firing range of four kilometers. Rochester can fire six shell explosions per flak salvo and they have a max firing range of 5.8 kilometers. Moving to Rochester's maneuverability, she gets a base speed of 33 knots, turning circle radius of 750 meters and a rudder shift time of 8.4 seconds. Finally, stats wise, Rochester has a concealment rating of 68, that's with a full stealth build, a detectability range by enemy ships from 9.5 kilometers, and she can be detected by enemy aircraft at 5.9 kilometers. So, I hope you all enjoyed this little preview of the upcoming Tier 8 Heavy American Cruiser, the USS Rochester. No gameplay as yet, as the ship is still covered by NDA, but as soon as that is possible, this video will be updated. So once again, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to keep up to speed with all the future updates. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.